So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another final web challenge for Red Pond, which was cookie recipes and uh, this challenge got me thinking for quite a while but finally I was able to crack it. Now obviously I won't consider this challenge a real challenge. If you are not able to solve it, it's okay. It's, it's kind of dumb. You cannot really uh, figure this out. So uh, you have a front end like this which um, trust me is completely useless so eventually what these creators have done is they have put in some honey pots which in which you will be stuck forever so for example you'll see that a single code does not work with the search so probably you might be thinking of sql injection or some sort of no sql injection or whatever but no matter how hard you try nothing would ever happen right to add to the confusion, what these guys did is they were using an express server which actually which could be modified to instead instead of receiving a string as the value of the um, you know the query parameter, just like I will show you here. So instead of receiving string here as the value, for example, let's say I have um, let's say something like this. Right, so I'm receiving a string. Now, if you're using express and request.query, you can actually modify the front end for the back end to receive this as an array, right? So you could have this as an array, and then you could pretty much pass in more values, right? More stuff. You could see we are now on the back end receiving this as an array. You could also convert this directly into an object by saying some key. Some sort of key value pair here so once you do that you're gonna see that you get a object now right so you have so many options here you are obviously going to stuck into thinking that it's related to something like this right but eventually you're gonna see that if we try to create an object out of this we're gonna get a stack trace of request query cookie includes is not a function and that means that it expects this to be either an array or a string right because dot includes is a method which is available on string type and on array type but unfortunately no matter how hard you try you're gonna be stuck here forever no matter what you think what you do you're gonna be stuck here forever the only way to actually do this challenge is if you somehow stumble upon robots.txt once you do that you're gonna get into a directory like this now Obviously, if you try to go here, nothing happens because it's not a valid URL, it's not a valid file. But what you have to do here is just perform a dictionary attack instead of on the star, just perform a dictionary attack related to cookie related stuff. So if you see the hint of this question, this is still related to cookies only, a small sweet cake, uh, typically round. So what we could figure out is this cookie is not really the HTTP cookie challenge they are talking about. This is actually the cookie, the cookie people eat, right? So you just have to go to Google, what I did at least, and I just searched on cookie recipe types. I got these cookies, I extracted them all, you know, and pretty much performed a dictionary attack because a brute force attack, first of all, either A is very inconvenient because, um, Performing a brute force attack on a URL on a remote server is, is like very unlikely a solution to a CDF question ever. And secondly, um, because they're focusing, emphasizing so much on cookie, it makes sense if you perform a attack like this. So yeah, once you do perform an attack using this uh, these particular values, what we're gonna see is, let me just show you, if we just go back to our URL, here and perform not really this let me just copy this stuff and this is our dictionary so I'm gonna name this dictionary and we're gonna perform a cookie related attack let me just zoom in stuff in here there we go so I'm just going to perform this cookie related attack and we're gonna see that we actually get a 200 OK response on biscuits.txt, right? So right here, we are still performing um, the request, but you see on biscuits.txt, we get 200 OK. 
So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of dumb, you know. Uh, it's not really a web-related challenge, but I guess it's okay to put. I don't know. I mean, like, it, it's, it, it's kind of, like, irritating. If you get stuck on this challenge, you will be wasting a lot of time, just like I did. But, yeah, eventually, if you solve these challenges, challenges like these, you can see that it's so high value, only 10 solves right now. It's been, like, three almost, like, um, I would say... The time is almost over it's been three days this challenge had no solve um, before no solve for a one whole day so you you know these challenges are irritating but they are rewarding eventually so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one